Now, if you're like me, you probably don't use speaker notes in a slide presentation. In other words, what I do is when I go from slide to slide in my slideshow, for example, I actually have enough key words up on the slide here that I can look at that and being a subject matter expert, I can turn to my audience and talk for hours about what's on our website and just say, hey, look, we got training videos on the website. We have some for 995, 1095. I mean, you see, I don't need to put all that up there. I just need to know the key word is training videos on our website. But if there's key points that you may not remember, it's probably best that you come down here and type in some notes, which you can actually print off a speaker notes. And how you do that is first, well, you come down at the bottom of the slide, type in some notes. You can see I already have some notes here. Here. You can type in more notes. I mean, you can keep typing and typing, and you, you got the little up and down arrows. So as you add more and more text, it'll start scrolling for you. And then you can come down to slide three, add any more notes that you would like to on slide three. In other words, what you're going to do is you're going to print these off. And then as you just go through the slide, it'll actually say on the third sheet of paper here, when you get to slide three, it'll have your notes down here. You can just read from those notes, or at least more key points that maybe you didn't want to put up on the slide for everybody to read. If you want to be able to view both slide and notes, because obviously, like I said down here, you can scroll up and down if you add more notes, but you want to see all the notes that you've added without scrolling, you can come up here and click on the View tab, and then come over here in Presentation View Groups and click on the Notes page. And then, well, you have to scroll a little bit, but not that much, because you see you've got the slide here in almost thumbnail preview. I mean, it's definitely smaller. And then down here, you can just click in the text box and type some more notes. At least that way, you know, you can see the majority of your notes and compare it to the slide above to make sure you've got the key points addressed down in your text box here. So when it comes time to print them off, it's actually going to make sense. So you're not actually fumbling through your notes here. I mean, right now I can look at the keywords. At least it's close enough to the text box I can match it. But of course, as I get down further here, I'm not going to be able to see it. In fact, if I keep scrolling, it'll take me from page 5 to 9 to 10 to 11 to 12. So... Best to use the up and down arrow keys and not go too far within the notes page here. If I get too far down, it'll take me pop to the next slide. Now to print these off, I'm going to come back and click on the normal view. And to print them off, just come up here, click on the office logo button, come down and click on print, or you can come over here and click on print, it doesn't matter. It still brings my printer settings before I print them off. Click and drag the uh, title bar over. What do I want to print? Do I want to print slides? No. I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and say I want to print my note pages. Well, if I want to see what it looks like before they actually print off, you want to click on your preview button. Let me click on that, and what you see is what you're going to get. It's going to print off in black and white, and I have no notes on this page. I mean, this is slide one. I mean, what am I going to say about it? Dreamforce, hey, we're a happy company. I'm going to come up here and click on next page. Go to the next page. There's slide two. So when you actually print these off, you've got these sheets of paper, and as you go through in probably a very dimly lit room at doing your slideshow, you got some ambient light where you can go ahead and go, okay, you're right, we're on slide two on our website. And you can quickly gaze at the thumbnail here on your sheet of paper, look up and make sure that you're on the same page as what you see up on the screen there, and then just start reading your notes down below. So again, this is only for reference to make sure you're on the same screen or the same page here. And then just go ahead and click print, and it'll print all these off. When you're finished, go ahead and click close, and you're back to square one. One final thing I'd like to show you is that you can have handouts. In other words, I'm going to go back to my office logo and click on print. And then on print what, you can click on the drop down arrow and select handouts. And then go ahead and click preview. I want to show you something. When you have handouts, you got six per page. I mean, it puts it all there. And for the most part, it's in black and white, except for your images here, except those are going to be in color, which is fine. I mean, if you have a color printer. The trick here is, is that you can have your slides in, in thumbnail views on so many on a page so that your audience can have a quick overview of what you're about to cover and they can write their own little notes like just below each thumbnail print that you give to them or better yet if you want to have lines over next to each slide then you want to change your handouts three slides per page and this is the only time it'll actually add lines if you choose three per page anything else and it's just gonna bunch them up for example like two per page doesn't give you the lines and you'll notice on the handouts it doesn't print the notes again the notes page are for you the handouts are gonna be for your audience and the difference between the two is a simple drop down arrow. You can do note pages and then just hit next page to see my notes or you can do handouts. And if you want lines there, always choose three slides per page. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.